Hi, today I want to show you how to use Google Home uh, to connect home appliance via RM Mini 3. I've already uh, created a video for this device, but I only use it as a universal remote control. I will put the link uh, down there. This time I want to use uh, Google Home to control my devices. I'm using an Android phone and using the version 8.0 and I've already downloaded the Google Home app from the Play Store and of course I already got an account with Google so let's get started so using my account here okay next okay just say allowed for the moment Looking for devices. I already put this device on the same network. Okay, no devices found. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, now what do I have to do? Add set up device. Try this one. Boring smart home. Let me try this one. I think I need to install IHC app. Let me install it first. So now I'm on the intelligent home center. Uh, uh, I thought I got an account with Broadlink uh, using the eHome. Uh, it should be enough. I tried to log on with the same uh, account details, but it didn't work. I had to create uh, another account with uh, th this app. So now it looks okay. Let me add the device. I guess it's universal remote. Oh, that's the one here. Yeah. Apparently, I need to set reset my device to get it into configuration mode. I'm not too sure because I have already already set it up for un universal remote control as I shown on my previous video. Let me try to reset it and see how it goes. Okay, it found my device after I reset it, and as the description says when the blue LED is blinking and then I have to connect and everything works fine. Now I need to set it up for as a universal remote, that's fine. Maybe I pick up as a living room. Okay. Yeah, let's try the TV first. Let me select Samsung. Okay, I need to try the buttons first. So let's get back to IHC app. And uh, I already uh, set up a TV uh, using the Samsung uh, preset for the TV. Uh, but for the demonstration, I'm not going to use the TV because I hate that every time when there's a copyright content or whatever and YouTube might block my video. So I'm going to add a new appliance. So go to that one. So you can see there is a TV here and here is add appliance. So for the demonstration, I'm going to use the fan here. And this is the fan, and I have the remote of the fan here. And it's a sunbeam fan, and unfortunately I can't find the sunbeam here. And you can see this, can't find my brand, learn the remote right away. So I have to tap on this one, and I'm going to put it in living room, and this is a fan. And uh, okay, 
that's fine. So I don't need that one. Oops. So now I'm going to tap on the button, power on, and now I have to press the power on button facing the Broadlink with universal remote control. So accepted. And I have to press here and to test the button. So you can see the fan is moving. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to teach all different buttons. Okay, after playing around with the uh, Google Home and I found out the TV works straight away. I'm all ready. Turn off the TV. Sure, turning the TV off. So you can see turn on off the TV works fine. And uh, let me try to uh, turn on the fan. Turn on the fan. According to Delmar fans and lighting, turn on the ceiling fan. Stand directly. Okay, that's not good. As we already know, that uh, Google Home only knows one device, my TV here, and somehow I have to make it uh, knows my fan. I I have to go to IHC to add a scene for my fan. Here is scenes, add, find my fan. So let me put it power and give it a name. Save, save. Now I've got a scene called fan power. And let me try it. Turn on the fan. Sure, activating the so fan power. you can see the fan is working. And interestingly, if I say turn off the fan. Sorry, there was an error for the fan power. So it doesn't try to press the power button again. But if I say turn on the fan. Okay, activating the fan power. So you can see the fan is off. And uh, that's interesting. Uh, since I've got a very strong accent, uh, I've got a lot of trouble to talk to Google and uh, because uh, Google can only understand uh, my language based on the context. If I make a command really short, it doesn't understand and it just got the wrong uh, interpretation. So I just added another thing to switch the fan to rotating mode. And uh, I want to show you, uh, there's a problem if I give the same, uh, very similar names, it just run two scenes with, on one command. I don't know how it recognizes which scene to be run, but uh, somehow it just com it gets confused. But it seems I call that one uh, fan rotating mode is fine. So let me show you. Turn on the fan. You got so, it. Activating the fan power. So you just run one one scene, the fan power. Activate fan rotating mode. Activate fan rotating mode. Okay, activating the fan rotating mode. Now it stopped rotating. I think I have to play around a little bit more to get to know what is working. And for example, the name of the saints, I have to give it a, some a kind of unique. So otherwise, if I say turn on the fan and then it just say uh, activate two scenes. I hope you find this video a little bit useful. And if you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.